everyone and welcome to my adventure channel. I'm just in the middle of filming and I thought I would answer one of the questions that's come to me a couple of times recently from viewers asking me about my filming setup. So for those of you who are interested in making videos and are interested to know what I use to make the videos that I make for YouTube, then stay tuned. Okay, so today I'm actually filming downstairs because I'm filming with my piano. I'd normally film in my room, but given that my room is quite small, I do have quite a lot of gear. I'm filming right now on my Canon Laguerre. I mean, this is great. The thing I love about it is how easy it is to use. So I literally take this with me everywhere. It's in my handbag, it's in my pocket, it's the kind of camera that's perfect for vlogging and for doing what I do, which is kind of like the sports and the travel. And yeah, it's really, really handy. Most people think it's like a phone or something. And what's also really great about it is the microphones are on the very front. So the sound is pretty reasonable, to be honest. I can point it at something and pull this screen back here so that I can see what I'm filming. And then I can also flip it around, film myself, but obviously I want to see if I'm in shot. So I just turn that around and I can see myself, which is great. Nice and handy. Also, it's got this little stand underneath. So if I want to sit it down and angle it, I can using that. So what I really like about it, especially for doing my gymnastic videos or doing videos where you want to get quite a lot in, is it has this kind of fisheye effect. So I can film like this in fisheye, which means I can get in loads of stuff really easily. I can just put this on the floor and it will pick up a huge amount. Or I can film just in normal mode. So this is filming from exactly the same position and you can see how close it is now. So there's a big difference between fisheye and then normal. There are other modes as well which um, are for like sports and um, different types of light. I don't use them, I tend to go on kind of automatic so that I don't have to faff around too much. And it's pretty reasonably priced as well at like £220 kind of mark. So I also have the Canon 70D where I do a lot of my filming on this one. Ah. Um, what I love about this camera is the screen flips out so that when I'm in front of the camera I can see what I'm doing. It also will adjust so if you want to shoot low you can point the, the frame up so you can see and it flips back as well so that you can use it like a normal camera. It also has automatic focus which is fantastic. The amount of times I used to film with my previous camera that didn't have autofocus, I thought I set the focus up right but obviously you move about, adjust a little bit when you're filming and I'd get to editing and it would all be out of focus and it was a nightmare. So that's great. Um, love that function. Turn that off. So my lighting setup, I have um, two box lights, although today I'm only using one. And the box lights are these lights. These are fantastic. They're really reasonably priced again. This is one of the first lights I actually picked up. They're on an adjustable stand, so you can have them really low. This head also adjusts, so you can have it face pointing downwards, or you can have it pointing up to the sky. Um, and what's great about these is they just throw a general, overall, quite a natural light onto things. You can also buy the bulbs for them online if you need to replace the bulbs, although I've been using them for three or four years now, and I haven't needed to replace a bulb yet. And recently, I was very excited about getting this one. I bought the Halo Light. Wah! Now, the way this works is that you're supposed to put your camera inside the Halo. So the camera would sit there, and then it would be placed to a point where you can't see the Halo of Light, um, and it just shines loads of light on the face. Obviously, the white balance on this camera at the moment is a little bit high so I look a little bit overexposed now but you'd adjust your setting on your camera and so this is great for if you're doing a lot of really close stuff if you're doing makeup tutorials or just chatting to camera a lot so I love my halo light and that adjusts as well up and down the stand um, and yeah it's nice and lightweight so it's quite easy to move around the house it's fabulous so in terms of my audio setup 
What I love to use is this microphone, this bad boy here. This is um, an SEX1 mic. And it's got this lovely, let me turn the halo light off, it's killing everything with light. Um, so I have actually dropped it, so I've got a bit of a bash in it. Um, but it's moved around a lot with me and it's got this lovely foam back. And this is great. I actually use this for doing voiceover work. Um, it, it produces fantastic sound. So when I'm doing voiceover, I sit really close to it and do my proper voiceover stuff here like this. Um, but I also use it for my filming because the sound is really pretty and it gets rid of the, because the sound is really pretty. Uh, it gets rid of like a lot of the background noise and that kind of white hissing sound that you get with a lot of cameras. This then attaches to a preamp which is what does all the magic with the sound, makes the sound fantastic. And this is our Steinberg CI2 Advanced Integration USB system. Yeah, so it just attaches with a USB into my computer and then you just have to have a software that records sound. So I use GarageBand. GarageBand. And, uh, and with that, I've been able to record professional voiceover work. That was quite expensive, I think, if I remember correctly, it cost about, f I want to say 400 And maybe the stand came separately. So you, you will need a stand for that as well. I suggest if you're on quite a tight budget but you still want decent sound, then my recommendation would be the Zoom H1, which is really fantastic, easily portable. Um, a lot of the sound I've gotten out of a Zoom has been, has been great. I mean, not as good as my big mic, but really still very good, very good and, um, and portable, which is the important thing if you're moving your studio around quite a lot. So then when I'm editing, I actually edit on Final Cut Pro. I know a lot of the people at the YouTube space like to edit on Premiere, something like that, but I, I love Final Cut Pro. So I use Final Cut Pro 10. It was about 200 pounds for that software. But the amount of video that I've edited on it, the amount of time I've spent using the software, it was definitely worth every penny. And the beauty of it is that once you've bought it, every single update there is, it's updated. So it's not like it, it goes out of date and then you have to spend loads of money to get the updates. No, it's just a one-off payment. And then you've got this fantastic software. So that's my setup. So for those of you who are wanting to know, there you go. What I'll do is put links to all of the equipment I use in the description box below so that you can have a gander at what it is exactly I'm using. So there you go, that's my setup. So if anyone has any other questions that they wanna ask, then feel free. If it's something I can answer, then I will do. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So if you're quite active there, then come along, follow me, and say hello. Don't forget to subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I will see you in another video. I need to go and film now and then do lots of editing. <laughs> Enjoy. All right. Bye, guys.